Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakak Radash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four corners of the globe. And uh, Shalom to you few sisters out there that's listening and learning and doing the right thing. It's Brother Aviyah coming at you with a quick cut here. And I made this uh, video earlier, but it was no sound to it. So salak here to all of you that watched it. Okay. I got to do better. Got to, you know, at least check the video before I, I put it out. So that was my fault. I apologize for that. Okay. But I came across this, uh, this article here. And it's like a, a video that, a video about it too. And I'm going to go to the video. I'm not going to play it though, because I don't want to get a copyright strike. Okay, but you'll see, you know, how I, how I do the video when we come to it, right? But I just want to get right into it. It says, world's first anti-hypersonic system. China says it is, uh, it is ready with an AI-powered defense against Mach 5 missiles, okay? And it says, while Beijing has repeatedly demonstrated its hypersonic offensive capabilities, it is now time for a Chinese defense system against hypersonic missiles. Chinese military researchers claim to have developed artificial intelligence technology that can predict the trajectory of a hypersonic glide missile as it approaches a target at speeds exceeding five times that of sound. South China Morning Post reported, a rocket is used to launch a hypersonic glide vehicle to hit a target the glide vehicle subsequently separates from the rocket and moves towards its target at a speed of at least Mach 5 or five times the speed of sound it is extremely difficult to track a hypersonic glide missile due to its unpredictable trajectory and the ability to enter space and re-enter the atmosphere in a very short period Countries like the U.S. are also relentlessly working on developing air missile defense against hypersonic missiles. Okay, and what I'm going to bring you to first, focus on where it says it is extremely difficult to track a hypersonic glide missile due to its unpredictable trajectory and the ability to enter and re-enter the atmosphere in a very short period, okay? So we're going to focus on that first, right? Which is going to bring me to this here. Let's go to it. Lord willing, this uh, lesson is edifying, okay? And this is the video that I wanted to uh, play, but I'm not going to play. But this basically shows you, you know, the the missile's trajectory, how um, it'll go out of the Earth's atmosphere, right? And then come back into the atmosphere, and then ultimately it'll impact okay so that's basically what it was talking about and that's why you know a lot of radar systems can't detect it because it leaves the earth's atmosphere right but i'm gonna start off with uh you know what i'll start off with uh, yeah isaiah 24 man and it says, fear in the pit and the snare are upon thee, O inhabitant of the earth. It shall come to pass that he who uh, fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For the windows from on high are open and the foundations of the earth do shake. The earth is utterly broken down the earth is clean dissolved the earth is moved exceedingly the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again that was isaiah 24 verse 17 through 20 okay but i just wanted to focus on this here where it says for the windows from on high are open and the foundations of the earth do shake and that is what this picture right here is depicting. It's, it's telling you, okay? The scriptures don't lie, man. All right? 
it says for, for the windows from on high are open okay now, that's just talking about the ozone layer it's not talking about actual windows but it's talking about how the missiles leave the earth's atmosphere and then come back into the earth's atmosphere and then they make impact man that's where that's why it says the foundations of the earth do shake okay because of the uh, impact of these hypersonic uh, nuclear warhead missiles man all right and um you know honestly i don't think that uh that babylon the great is going to have this technology here man i don't think that the most high is going to give them the wisdom to make this type of technology where they can pick up a, hyp a hypersonic missile man on their radar system okay and let's say for instance even if they do i guarantee you on the day of the lord right if they do have this ai technology that the most high will cause it to malfunction so regardless if they do if they happen to uh create this this ai that, that china has right it's gonna it's gonna malfunction anyway man okay but this is big news here because you know china is probably going to share this information with in technology with russia he's probably going to share it they're probably going to share it with uh you know all of their cohorts you know all, all of their uh their you know whoever they in, whoever they're in league with okay the other nations that they're in league with they're probably going to share it with them as well okay and you already know esau is going to be scrambling he's this is going to this is going to have him deathly afraid here man Okay, Esau does not like when people have technology that he does not have, man, that he does not have access to, okay? And this is one more thing that is going to scare Esau into doing all the things that he's supposed to do, okay? This is just one more thing that is going to scare him to death, man. So this is great news right here, man, that China has developed this uh, anti-hypersonic system, okay? This is great news, right? But at the end of the day, we all know that all the nations are going to shoot their arrows at Babylon the Great and destroy this place, man. Right? Matter of fact, let's get that real quick, man. That's uh, Jeremiah 50. Yeah, let's get Jeremiah 50 real quick. And 14 and 15, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she have sinned against the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shout against her round about. She have given her hand, her foundations are fallen, her, wall, her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take no take vengeance upon her as she have done, do unto her, man. Okay? And this is exactly what all of these uh all of these nations are gonna do, man. They're going to be shooting them missiles right over here, man. Even NATO and the EU is going to shoot missiles over here, man. Everyone, the Lord is going to put the spirit on everyone to destroy this place, man. This is why this place is going to be a desolate wilderness, man. Okay? A straight up desert, man. For desert animals. Right? Let me go. Uh, I got a couple more. Like I said, it's just a, a quick cut here. Okay? Let's go to uh uh let's go to Isaiah okay Isaiah 47 therefore shall evil come upon thee thou shalt not know from whence it riseth and mischief shall shall fall upon thee thou shalt not be able to put it off and desolate desolation shall come upon thee suddenly which thou shalt not know okay and that's basically you know what this is going into right here man since america since babylon the great you know more than likely will not have this uh this technology here right and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly which thou shalt not know okay so no one's gonna know when it when it when it's coming man all right why? Because they don't have this technology, man. You know, it says the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Let me, uh, I'm going to get that, okay? 
And it says, this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 2 through 4. But ye yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief, right? Because we know, we know what's coming. We know what this place's end is, man. No one else knows, though, and no one else cares. And when we happen to tell people of the world, they look at us like we crazy anyway. Because they think that this place is going to keep running forever, man. Okay? They don't, they can't fathom in their mind that this place is about to be utterly destroyed, man. Beating the powder. Okay? They can't understand it. Right? They can't see it. You know? They love the place of their captivity. You know, they love it here, man. I only speak of, the, you know, the Israelites, man. Two-thirds. I don't really care about the other nations in Esau, you know. We know their end, man. Okay, eradication and slavery, man. Hardcore bondage, all right? But this place is definitely about to be destroyed, man. You can see the spirit of the Lord is working on these other nations, building them up, right? And he's working all over the place, man. His works are all over, man. And we're seeing the works of the Lord, man. Okay, and he's ramping things up. Things are heating up. And it's really about to pop off out here, man. It's really about to pop off. I think I got one more, man. Um, let's get let's get Isaiah 13 real quick. Three and nine, three through nine. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger, even them that rejoice in my highness. The noise of a multitude in the mountains like as a, of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord, Yahweh of hosts, muster of the hosts of the battle. They come from, from a far country, from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt. And, and they shall be afraid pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them they shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth they shall be amazed one at another their faces shall be as flames behold the day of the Lord cometh cruel both with wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it man okay and this is this is coming man this is upon us man you know they're in the works as we speak man you know, we almost up out of here, man. Okay? So, like I said, China making this right here, this is, this is big news, man. It's big news, man. Why? Because it's going to put fear in Esau, man. It's going to put more fear in Esau, man, for him to, you know, fear will make you do some outlandish things, man. Okay? And most of the time when you're in fear, you're not in the, you're not in the right frame of mind, man. Okay? And, you know, Esau's definitely about to show his horns, man, because he see that, you know, everything is is turning against him, man. Things are not working in his favor like they were at one point in time, man. He sees that his kingdom is falling and is crumbling, man. Okay? he's You know, I guarantee you the Most High is giving these evil-ass Edomites dreams of their destruction, man. Okay? So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to say shalom to the next one.